What's going on guys, Snake Eyes here bringing you some more Bloodborne news and in this video I'm going to talk about some of the new weapons shown in the recent Undone by Blood trailer. I won't talk a whole lot about the cinematics and dialogue only because I feel like it's a little too close to the release date to try and come up with theories and it's probably best if we all just wait the week and find out on our own. But getting right into it, this trailer shows off some more new weapons and a few old ones. Uh, I'll talk about all of that in a second, but first, I want to say that I usually try to stay humble when I make these videos. Uh, there have been a lot of minor details and theories that I made throughout this series that ended up being true, and I never really made any videos bringing them up um, until now. For those who have been with me for a while, you know that my very first Bloodborne news video talked about this screenshot, and more specifically, the Gatling gun that's in it. I said that this was probably going to be a weapon in the game and a lot of people said that it just wasn't possible. To this day I still get comments saying that I was looking too deep into that and with no mention of the gun after that screenshot um, I was starting to lose hope. Then we get to see this gun in action. Now granted it doesn't look like the exact gun in the screenshot. Uh, it's definitely close enough for me to be content with and I just have to say that of all the things that I could have gotten right I'm just glad that this was one of them. With that being said, it actually makes more sense now for this weapon to be in the game, and I really love how they chose to present it. Most of the enemies shown in this trailer are huge. Uh, all of them are easily twice as big as the Hunter, and a cannon this size would really be one of the few things that could interrupt their attacks if you really needed to. The way they show this weapon is the Hunter offhanding it, and right before the giant enemy is about to land an attack, the Hunter shoots and knocks him back. It looks way too slow for the smaller enemies in the game, and for the sake of balancing, I wouldn't have it any other way. This segues into our character fighting old hunter Dura, and one thing to note is the fact that Dura is using another new weapon. This weapon is called the Stake Driver. Uh, this is a new trick weapon, and not much is known about it at this point in time, so I'll just leave it at that. But moving on, we get to see the scythe being used in its broken down version right before the hunter attaches it to the handle like we've seen before. There's also a brief shot of some new claw weapons which I think are officially called fist blades. Uh, I can't really add anything since we don't see much else. We also get another glimpse of what I'm assuming to be the Great Sword of the Church but is now officially known as Ludwig's Holy Blade. Uh, if you want to know more about this sword, I've already made a video on it. I'll leave an annotation on the screen and a link in the description. And on a side note, it's extremely nice to see an actual greatsword in the game because it makes me that much more hopeful to see some form of the Moonlight Greatsword. The final weapon that I want to talk about is the Kirkhammer. Uh, this isn't a new weapon, but I wanted to point something out. Uh, now it could just be me or the way the camera is angled, but it looks like some changes could have been made to the Kirk Hammer. It seems like the weapon has more reach to it and a faster swing speed compared to the footage that we've seen before, but since we only see it for a few seconds, it's kind of hard to say for sure. The only other thing that I want to talk about in this trailer is this clip of the character vanishing. Uh, now I don't really know what to think of this. The only two things that I can come up with is maybe the mini crossbow looking weapon has something to do with it, or the hunter is using the Bloodborne equivalent to a simpleton's ring. In a way I think it's the latter only because the direction the crossbow was fired in isn't the area the hunter ended up at. So what do you think about the vanishing character? Are you as hyped as me about the cannon that was shown? And what do you think about the claws? Leave them in the comments below, but that's pretty much going to wrap up this video. Leave a like if you enjoyed, subscribe if you haven't already. The trailer ends with the baby crying, and I guess in a week we'll get to see if that has any meaning or not. Uh, I'd like to thank you guys for watching, and until next time, take care.